Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. In the previous lecture, we have learned how to obtain the residues of a function. And now in this lecture, we shall study a theorem which is known as a residue theorem or the Cauchy residue theorem. In a simple word, this theorem states that if you have the residues of a function f of z, then by using the residues, you can integrate that function along a simple closed curve. First of all, let us write the statement of this theorem. Let f of z be an analytic, analytic function on and inside of a simple closed curve C except for except for finite number of singular points z1 comma z2 comma up to zn in this closed curve then integration of that function f of z is equal to 2 pi iota into sum of all residues. We can write that this is equal to 2 pi iota a residue of the function f at the first point plus residue of the function f at the second point plus up to a residue of the function f at the last point. In the summation notation we can write that this is equal to summation residue of the function f at the point z k where k is from 1 to n. And now let us explain this theorem. This theorem says that if we have a function f of z which is analytic inside and on the boundaries of this closed curve C. However, there is a point Z1 at which the function is not analytic. There is another point Z2 at which the function is not analytic. And similarly, there are finite numbers of points at which the function is not analytic. In other words, these are singular points of that function. In that case, how we can integrate the function along this closed curve? In this case, first of all, we have to find the residue of the function at the first point. Then we have to find the residue of the function at the second point. And similarly, we have to find the residues of the function at all of its singular points. And then the residue theorem says that its integration is equal to 2 pi iota and sum of all the residues of that function. In the previous lectures we have studied that if a function is analytic throughout this closed curve, 
In other words, if there is no singular point inside or on the boundary, then we can use the Cauchy integral theorem. And according to that theorem, integration of the function will vanish. Integration must be equal to zero. But on the other side, we have studied a Cauchy integral formula, which says that if there is some singular point inside the curve C, then still we have to integrate the function according to the Cauchy integral formula. Now the Cauchy integral formula and the Cauchy residue theorem behaves alike. They both can be used to find integral of this type. However, you will see that the residue theorem is more simple than the Cauchy integral formula. And now let us solve a problem to see the application of this uh, theorem. Let us see problem number one. By using the residue theorem, evaluate integration of 5z minus 2 divided by z into z minus 1, where c is a circle, z absolute is equal to 2, taken in the positive direction. Now, first of all, we have to draw this circle. To draw the circle, let us recall that a general equation of the circle is this one, where r is a radius and a is a center. So according to this definition, z absolute is equal to 2 means that we have a radius 2. And the center in this case is 0. So center of this circle is equal to 0, 0. So if we draw this circle, the center will, will lie here. This is real axis, this is imaginary axis. And the radius is 2. 2 means this is 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2 and 1, 2. So the circle will be something like of this form. Now, let us see that in this question f of z is 5z minus 2 divided by z into z minus 1. So we have to find the residues and for the residues we need the singular points. So for the singular points we always put the denominator equal to 0 and we find its roots. So from this we can get that z is equal to 0 is a pole of order 1 which is called a simple pole. Similarly from the other one z is equal to 1 is a simple pole of this function. So now we have to find the residue at the first point. So residue of the function f at the point 0 is equal to z into f of z at the point z is equal to 0. Now we have to put the value of f of z. So this is z into 5z minus 2 divided by z into z minus 1. So z will be cancelled with z. And now if we put z is equal to 0 here and here, we will get that this residue is equal to 2. And now we have to find the other residue. So residue of the function f at the point 1 is z minus 1 into f of z at the point z is equal to 1. So we have to put the value of f of z which is equal to 5z minus 2 divided by z minus 1. And z minus 12 will cancel with the z minus 1. And now if I put z equal to 1, you will see that the residue at this point is 3. And now I have to use the Cauchy uh, residue theorem. So by the residue theorem, a residue theorem, integration of the function f of z dz is equal to 
2 pi iota into residue of the function f at the point 0 plus residue of the function f at the point 1. So let us put the values. We get 2 pi iota and residue at 0 is 2 and residue at 1 is 3. So we can get that 5 into 2. This is 10 pi iota. So integration of this function along the given curve is equal to 2 pi iota. And you can see that both point lies inside the circle. 0 also lie here and 1 also lie here. So both lie here. And now we have to solve another problem. In this problem you can see that we have to evaluate this function where C is a positive oriented circle Z minus 1 is equal to 2. So first of all from this result we have to obtain the radius and we have to obtain the center. So radius is 2 and you can see that the center is 1 comma 0. So if I draw the this circle you can see its center lies here this is 1. So center is at this point which is 1 comma 0 and its radius is 2 so it will pass 1 2 similarly from here so you will see that it it is a circle like this one it starts from 1 2 3 uh, okay so now you can see uh, first of all we have to write the function f of z which is equal to sin z divided by z power 6. In such type of questions first of all we have to find the series expansion of this function. So the series expansion of this function can be written like this one 1 over z power 6 and sin z this is equal to z minus z cube divided by 3 factorial plus z5 divided by 5 factorial and minus z7 divided by 7 factorial and plus up to so on and now we have to multiply 1 over 6 so we can get that this is 1 over z power 5 and this is minus 1 over 3 factorial into z cube and this is plus 1 over 5 factorial into z and this is minus z divided by 7 factorial and plus up to so on. Now the coefficient of 1 over z which is this number is called the residue. So the residue of this function f at the point 0 is equal to 1 over 5 factorial which is equal to 1 over 120 and you can see this is a pole of order 5. So now I have to use the residue theorem. So by the residue theorem we can write that integration of this function f along the closed curve C is equal to 2 pi iota and residue of the function f at the only 1.0. This is equal to 2 pi iota and the residue in this case is 1 over 20. So if we simplify we can get that the answer is pi iota divided by 60 and that is all.